Hello again everyone, welcome to our channel. In the last lessons, I showed you the basic accounting transactions and you learned how to use the accounting equation. In today's lesson, I will introduce the financial statements and I will show you how to prepare them. Before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Well, what are the financial statements? Simply, the financial statements are these statements that provide financial information for internal and external users. Internal users are those users from inside the company, like the company management and the staff, while external users are those from outside the company, like the tax department and investors. Companies prepare four financial statements, which are income statement, owner's equity statement, balance sheet, statement of cash flow. The income statement shows the income and expenditure of the business for a given period of time. It gives an answer to an important question, which is, did the company made money or lost money? Sometimes it's referred to the income statement as profit and loss statement, and sometimes a statement of earning. The statement of owner's equity reports the events that increased or decreased stockholders' equity over the course of an accounting period. The balance sheet shows a summary of the financial balances of the company. It lists the assets, liabilities, and ownership equity of the company as of a specific date. It provides a snapshot of what the company owns and what it owes. The balance sheet is also known as statement of financial position. The statement of cash flow is concerned with the flow of cash in and out of the business. It's useful in measuring the performance of a business over a specific period of time. Okay, let's now move on and see how each statement looks like and how you can prepare them. This slide shows a summary for the transactions that we have made in the last lesson. So, if you have not watched the last lesson about using the accounting equation, Please go and watch it now before proceeding with this lesson so you can understand how we came up with these numbers. Okay, as you can see, we have the accounting equation. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. And we have the balances in each account. The balance in cash, the balance in account receivable, the balance in supplies, equipment, account payable, owner's capital, owner's drawings, revenue, and expenses. Those in the blue font is description of the transactions that we will use later in preparing our financial statements. Here we have the initial investment, service revenue, advertisement expenses, service revenue again, rent expenses, salaries expenses, utilities expenses, and drawings by owners. Now, let's prepare the first financial statement, which is the income statement. As we said before, this statement shows the income and expenditures of a business for a given period of time. It also illustrates if the company has achieved profit or incurred loss. First, we start by adding the revenue achieved by the company, which is 6,000 US dollar. Then, we add all the expenses incurred of 3,100 US dollar, which include advertisement expense, rent expense, utilities expense, and salaries expenses. By deducting expenses from revenue, we get the net income of 
$2,900 US dollar. A net income result when revenue exceeds expenses. A net loss result when expenses exceed revenue. Please remember this number well or write it in a piece of paper because we will use it in the next slide. Now, let's prepare the next financial statement, which is the statement of owner's equity. As we said before, this statement shows increase or decrease of shareholder's equity for a specific period of time. First, we start by adding investments that was made by the owner, which, is, which was 20,000 US dollar. Then, we add the amount of 2,900 US dollar, which is the net income. This is the number we get from the income statement in the previous slide. Then, we add the amount withdrew by the owner, which is 5,000 US dollar. By subtracting 5,000 from 22,900, we get 17,900, which is the owner's capital. Please remember this number well, or write it in a piece of paper because we will use it in the next slide. Now let's move on to prepare the third financial statement, which is the balance sheet. To recall, the balance sheet shows the assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity at a specific date. Okay, let's start by the assets part. First, we add the cash balance, which is 12,900 US dollar. Then we add the other assets account, which is the account receivable, but here we have zero. We don't have balances in the account receivable. Then we add supplies of 1,500 US dollar, then equipment of 5,000 US dollar, and the total is 19,400 US dollar. Then we move to the liabilities part. We only have the account payable of 1,500 US dollar. Then we go to the owner's equity board where we add the owner's capital amount that we get from the statement of owner's equity. And of course, the assets amount must be equal to the total amount of the liabilities and owner's equity. It's 19,400 US dollar in both sides, in the assets sides and in the liabilities and owner's equity side. So, we are doing fine. Now, let's move to the last financial statement, which is the statement of cash flow. This statement is divided into three parts. The first is cash flow from operating activities, which indicates the cash that has been generated or spent from regular business activities, such as manufacturing and selling of goods, or providing a service to customers. The second is cash flow from investing activities, which indicates the cash that has been generated or spent on non-current assets that are intended to produce a profit in the future such as capital expenditures, lending money, and sale of investment securities. The last part is the cash flow from, investing active, from financing activities, which refers to inflow and outflow of cash from the financing activities, like issuance of securities, issuing debt, repayment of debt, and payment of dividends or interest on securities. Okay, now let me show you how this statement is prepared. In the cash flow from operating activities, we deduct 
the expenses of 3100 US dollar from the revenue of 6000 US dollar to get the net cash provided by operating expense of 2900 US dollar in the cash flow from investment investing activities we add the purchase of equipment which is equal to 5000 US dollar it has a negative sign because it's an outflow of cash in the cash flow from financing activities we deduct owners drawing of 5000 US dollar from owners investment of 20000 US dollar to get the net cash provided by financing activities which is equal to 15000 US dollar then we get the net cash we get the net increase in cash which is 2900 minus 5000 plus 15000 equal 12900 the last step we add the cash at the beginning of the period because we don't have it's equal to zero finally we get the cash at the end of the period which is equal to 12,900 US dollar now let's have a look at these important notes please memorize them very well number one net income of 2,900 US dollar is added to the beginning balance of the owner's capital. Number two, owner's capital of 17,900 is reported on the balance sheet. Number three, cash of 12,900 US dollar on the balance sheet is reported on the statement of cash flow. Here we have another bunch of important notes. Income statement, owner's equity, and cash flow statement are all reported for a given period of time, while balance sheet is reported for a point of time. Like what we did in our previous lessons. Please take a short break and come back to solve this example. Please write your answers in the comments of this video. And feel free to ask me any questions in the comments and I will reply as soon as possible. Good luck! That's all for today. Congratulations on finishing this important lesson. Thank you very much for watching. See you next lesson. Bye bye.